Hey Thickies, welcome back to Thick Girls Guide, your official guide for all things fashion, lifestyle, and traveling. And in today's video, we are doing my closet declutter. So super excited to dive into this video. If you don't know, I have a two bedroom apartment and all three closets that I have are like, it's like two and a half, really. Um, but they're stuffed because obviously we do a lot of hauls here um, and I've just accumulated quite a bit over the years just in general. So it is time to start decluttering, make some room, um, give those clothes some room to breathe, downsize to wear the stuff that I really wear consistently and all that good stuff. So let's dive in. Before we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, join the Thick Girl Gang, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it. So like I said in the intro, I have two full closets, um, full to the brim, like stuffed in there, to be honest. I think I have a bin in one closet <laughs> of stuff that I haven't seen in a minute. I also have kind of like a little half closet, like when you first come in the front door that has a bunch of stuff in it. So this is going to be divided up into two parts. Again, I have worked in, uh, or previously is what, it's been a while now, but I used to work in fashion retail, if you don't know, and when you're just like looking at this stuff all day and then you get such a good discount on it, you know, you just accumulate a lot there. So that's where I got a lot of stuff from. And then also back in 2020, when I started this channel, started doing fashion hauls. And so while I don't keep everything from every haul, obviously, that'd be insane. You would just see me filming under like a pile of clothing, just my little like head sticking out <laughs> if that's how we rolled. But I do typically keep at least I would say like one to two things, if not more, depending on like what, like what I really love. So I do really now also try to make sure that I am absolutely in love with the piece. And if I'm not, or if I have any kind of hesitation, now I send it back. Where when I first started, I think I would keep things like, oh, I'll use this in another video. Oh, it's cute. Um, so I'm getting a little bit more hardcore now because again, we have a lot of stuff here. So gotta cut that back for sure. But we're gonna go through everything. I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of stuff that I just don't wear or have not ever worn. Things that just aren't my style anymore things like that. The good items that are like really still good quality and especially the things that are new with tags on them, there are a few of those. I am going to put those on Poshmark. So if you are interested in any of the things I'm getting rid of, they will be listed there. But the rest of the stuff that is just kind of like ratty and stuff like that, I'm going to just toss. And then some stuff, if it's kind of like in between, then I'm going to donate that to where it's still good quality, but it's not I would say not worth selling on Poshmark and also not, you know, ratty to be able to throw away. So um, I'm also going to go through my shoes as well. And a lot of those there, I'm just going to get rid of with donations or whatever. I'm not selling any of those on Posh or anything. But overall, this is a much needed purge from Andrea's closet. <laughs> so let's dive in. I'm going to show you the closets first. And then I will dive into part one, which is the master bedroom closet and my shoe area. And then part two will be my office closet and then the little mini closet at the front door here um, to finish that up. So my goal for kind of each closet is to downsize by about a third. Um, so hopefully my out of my whole kind of wardrobe will be reduced about 33%. So that is the overall goal. If I can get higher than that, great. But I do have an attachment <laughs> to uh, a lot of pieces. And so even if I haven't worn something in a while, it is still difficult for me to part with. 
I don't know. So we'll see how it goes. Comment down below if you guys have the same attachment to clothing. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Again, that is the goal. And let's dive in. Okay, this is my main closet in my master bedroom. So up here I have denim, leggings, um, my boots, and then this is all clothing. And then in here I have uh, camis, kind of some graphic tees, uh, long sleeve basic shirts. This thing is about to give like give way and rip. So I'm going to try and empty that, cut it down quite a bit, and then move that stuff up here. Move the denim and the leggings over to another dresser I have and kind of wrangle it that way. This, I've got a couple bins. This bottom one here is more clothing, I think. Uh, this one is a bunch of throws I have. This is the other side. I did already wrangle the boots, the boot section down here, where I got rid of a bunch of like tennis shoes and sandals and other junk that was in there that I never wore and put my boots in here instead. And then again, continued just a ton of clothing. And then over here, I've got a lot of pajamas and probably stuff I can get rid of quite a bit. So, um, and then again, all my boots. So let's start organizing. All right, and I have a clothing rack that I um, use for videos. Like when I get new stuff, I'll, I will put the new clothing on here and that's what I kind of pull from. So I thought this would be great to use, to choose which items are gonna be uh, removed from the closet, put them on here, decide which ones are going to get donated, which ones are going to go in maybe a garage sale or on Poshmark or something like that. So, and I'll probably speed through this or fast forward through it, but I will give you a final count of how many tops I have. I think I might divide them between like sweaters and regular blouses and then maybe like graphic t-shirts and kind of do categories. So I'll give you a breakdown of how many I had, how many I got rid of, and how many I have left, and then a percentage. So let's dive into it now.
All right, so I went through all the hanging items and decluttered a bunch of, I would say it's quite a bit. There's definitely more I could have probably gotten rid of, but I just, I love clothing. I feel like I got rid of probably about a third of it though. So it's still pretty good. Again, we have two more closets, well, one and a half to go through, but I am going to go through the denim here, the leggings, most of the leggings I'll be keeping unless there's holes in them or something. And then all the camis and graphic tees. So I'll probably pan to a little surface I have down here um, and kind of speed through that and then let you know what I've gotten rid of. So I am keeping eight pairs of leggings. I mean, these ones are kind of a workout one, but the rest of them are pretty much black. Um, a mix of the capri length and the regular length, but those I am keeping, none of those have holes in them or anything. Decluttering three pairs of leggings that are getting holes in, like usually it's the thigh where it rubs. Um, so three pairs are gone. And then these ones are like a pajama pant. So I don't count those as leggings, but I'm keeping those. Um, not getting rid of that. On to denim. Okay, so with denim, I had 15 pairs of jeans, um, technically 16 with the ones I have on right now. Um, and I, again, I got rid of two pairs, one Elaine Bryant pair that is so freaking cute. Um, super distressed, I absolutely love those. But again, I hate Lane Bryant denim. It, um, and the waist, it just fits terribly for my body type. If you're kind of like Beyonce where you have a smaller waist and bigger butt, they will fit you perfectly. Also, the other pair was this um, Avenue denim that I ended up keeping from a couple years ago. Um, their denim's just okay. Like, whenever I see that pair, I'm, not, I'm never like, yeah, let me wear these. These are amazing. So, I'm always kind of like, eh, if I have to, I would wear those. So, I decided let's just get rid of them. Okay, so on to this hanging contraption. Um, sorry if you hear the noise in the background, my dog was getting hot on the bed. He's, you know, a big ball of fur. So, turn the fan on for him. So, you know, that's that. Um, but again, I cleared out this and I got these <laughs> divider things off of Amazon to just kind of help to keep the stacks in order so they don't fall over and stuff like that. And then also just bring some organization to it. And um, I will link these down below if you're interested. Um, I absolutely love them. Had them in here for my denim and stuff. And then now it'll help with these shirts. So I'm gonna try and do, I think long sleeve, kind of plain shirts there, uh, graphic t-shirts, and then probably my camis here. And then we'll see kind of what's left over at that point. And also be going, I'll be going through it and decluttering a bunch too. Okay, let's dive in.
so as you can see I have my camis here my both plain and graphic t-shirts here and then I have graphic tank tops a lot of those are custom made <clears throat> so I'm not getting rid of them I have this whole big pile of um, long sleeve shirts that I'm gonna have to find a spot for to be determined where those are gonna go but at least I got this whole thing emptied and so I can rip that out of here and that gives me probably about another foot of closet space which is awesome and this is all the camis and long sleeve shirts and t-shirts and whatever that I've got rid of so I'll be counting those up in a second so the first thing I'm going to tackle are these shoes again 90% of them maybe 99% I don't ever wear so we're just going to donate those or throw them away if they're gross this is the shoe caddy on the back of my door and I've got sandals in here flats um, uh, some like a pair of tennis shoes or so so I'm gonna also go through this and get the shoes I am keeping from my closet fitting into this contraption Okay, here it is after I've reorganized, got rid of some of those ratty shoes, especially the sandals. Got all the shoes, all my shoes to fit in here. And I still have a little bit of room in that one as well. All right, so that was closet declutter number one or part one. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you like anything, it's uh, most of it that's good quality is available on my Poshmark, which is linked down below. I think I did pretty good. I feel like I got rid of about a third of it, um, like I was aiming for. And um, I tried to put the numbers up on the screen as well for like for each category and how much I kept versus how much I got rid of and the percentage. Um, of each of those. So I think overall I will add it up here and put the total percentage here for closet number one and the shoes, how many I got rid of total. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, join the Thick Girl Gang, and give this video a thumbs up. And stay tuned for part two should be out next week. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys.